participants today that is 25th april is being celebrated as world malaria day and it gains more importance this year as the drug use for the treatment of this disease is being the talk of the town yes i am talking about hydroxychloroquine which has regained relevance and has become a talk of the town in this video we shall be discussing about the the anti uh, malarial drug this hydroxychloroquine which has sought into prominence because of its significance in fighting and as a drug for treatment of covid although this is to be clinically tested the hydroxychloroquine has renewed importance because of the recent tweet by the us president and uh, in this video we shall see what actually is hcq and why this uh, has sought into prominence and how is that affected indo us relationship now once we see this picture all of us start hating this because we are simply hateful of uh, this particular picture which has affected the lives of millions and millions of people and has killed around 2 lakh people on earth the toll is still rising let us come to the tweet of mr trump where in on 21st march he says that hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin taken together is a game changer and can be of great use in the treatment of covid he further goes on to say that this should be immediately put into use this sparked a lot of controversy and uh, his study his statement was primarily based on the studies conducted in france wherein some sort of reduction in the viral load was uh, was seen uh, when hydrochloroquine along with azithromycin was used on patients suffering from covid however very soon another study which was reported by live mint on 22nd april 2020 found that this hcq or the hydroxychloroquine has no benefit on the covid patients in fact it had uh, shown its side effects and has actually increased the mortality rate of covid patients so so this has raised a very great question mark on the on the effic- efficacy of the hcq and prompting national institute of health of usa to make a very balanced statement saying that they don't have sufficient clinical data either to, to recommend or to oppose its use in the treatment of covid so why are the recent studies conflicting let us try and understand what is the reason behind it number 1 the first thing is these re- these studies have been with a small sample size that is the number of patients or the subjects on which they have been tried and tested is very small which is uh, not sufficient enough for uh, their large scale uses second reason is that the studies were not randomized meaning thereby that the patients were not solely on these medicines but were also given and administered other medicines so it is very difficult to pinpoint as to how, whether uh, the response positive response shown by the covid patients were, can be directly attributed to this medicine the third reason is that the studies were not blinded meaning that the the researchers actually knew on who these drugs have been administered and that is why the the credin uh, the credibility of the tests become questionable so that is why there is a need to be more scientific before making such statements and i probably feel and uh, one uh, probably feels that uh, the president of us should have been more i mean 
uh, more uh, watchful while making such sweeping statements and should have waited for a, for a few more days before commenting uh, on this um, uh, MHCQ. That is why Novartis has to has decided and embarked upon a rigorous and scientific approach to address this unanswered question as to whether HCQ can be of help to the patient suffering from COVID-19. So let us see what actually is chloro hydroxychloroquine. Friends, this particular medicine is an anti-malarial drug and has been in use since 1955. If we look at it, it is used to prevent as well as to treat malaria and is sold by the brand name Plaquenil. You can see its picture on your screens. Moving on to the other use, this particular medicine the hydrochloroquine is also used for uh, treating lupus and arthritis, the other users. But this medicine cannot be used on a large scale uh, without medical prescription because it has its side effects too. So the common side effects include headache, dizziness and vomiting while the serious side effects include blurred vision, disturbed heartbeat and, and hyper glycemia meaning the sugar level also changes coming back to malaria let us here it would not be out of context to refer to malaria kya hai malaria what is malaria all about malaria ek aisi disease hai jo plasmodium se cause hoti hai which is a unicellular parasite protozoa you can see it in the picture there are particularly five types of plasmodium which cause malaria of which Plasmodium falciparum and uh, Plasmodium vivax are the most important and are, are important because they are responsible for 95% of the cases of, of malaria. All of us might at some stage uh, in our life uh, have faced this uh, uh, I mean disease and the vectors in the case of malaria are the anophils or rather the female anophil mosquitoes and you can see them in the picture how how severely they bite coming to the other facts about malaria malaria is basically a disease which is a cause of serious concern in sub-saharan africa however last year we have been able to uh, formulate a vaccine for it and uh, this Moscurix is now administered to children be below the age of two years uh, and this is a vaccine against world's first vaccine against malaria as you are aware 25th april is celebrated as world malaria day on this occasion we must not forget about quinine the age old drug used for treating malaria this quinine you know has been extracted or is being extracted for quite some time uh, and uh, for the first time it was in 1820 that it was extracted you can see the image of the bark and let us see the image of the cinchona tree from which it the it is uh, uh, extracted we must know that although now it has been discontinued from the year 2006 it has been in use much earlier than 1820 and it has been used in uh, 16th century as well coming to the next version of quinine that is the chloroquinine which is, which is slightly better and less toxic than the quinine and hence has been replaced uh, the quinine has been replaced by chloroquinine the, you can see the complex complex structure of this and this chloroquinine along with hydroxychloroquinine uh, quinine has been um, tasted and tried on the patients of SARS in 2003. So let us come and see how is India concerned with this, how this has sought into prominence. See India manufactures around 70% of the world uh, HCQ and uh, recently uh, on 25th March India placed HCQ and uh, 
certain other medicines in the restricted list uh, uh, and that res restriction was further extended and tightened on 4th april when india imposed a blanket ban on the export of hcq however uh, there were uh, uh, some discussions between uh, the uh, the countries which have already ordered uh, for the supply of hcq from india and uh, following the discussion of uh, us president with the prime minister of india on 6th april uh, the ban was li uh, lifted uh, on the export of hcq uh, with effect from 7th april 2020 and following that india supplied the hcq the much sought for medicine at that point of time uh, in its fight against covid to more than 55 countries including the european countries the us and brazil you can see uh, this us alone has got around 35 to 36 lakh tablets of hcq so germany spain i mean bhutan our neighbors like nepal afghanistan bangladesh all have benefited from the lifting of the ban it is seen uh, as an indian diplomacy and a win of indian diplomacy over china uh, since if we, if we look at the statements made by the various diplomats including donald trump uh, wherein he says that he will never forget the humanita humanitarian gesture uh, shown by india similar uh, praise have been sung uh, for the Indian uh, Prime Minister as well as for the Indians by the Brazilian President and then we can also see uh, the thanks giving by uh, Ashraf Ghani the President of Afghanistan so uh, what is the way forward from here since the studies are still unconclusive we, we are not sure as to whether hydrochloroquine can be used as a as a drug for the treatment of covid or not or whether it can be uh, used in combination with some other drug or not but this has the the question that has been raised about its efficacy has definitely given some setback to the and to the uh, treating community the doctors and the researchers however uh, there are some good news for you and if you watch the our next video we will be sharing some good news regarding the uh, the the kit for testing corona and chadox one the incoming vaccine uh, for the treatment of the treatment of covid developed by the british scientist and the encouraging results of plasma therapy uh, we will be uh, our mood will definitely change to some extent so this was uh, all uh, from us this time uh, thank you for watching and uh, do share and subscribe follow us on facebook twitter as well as on instagram thank you